what's up loves i'm coming to you with another new video as you can see from the title it is going to be on my first week um driving uber eats so let's get into it so i wrote um the tips down on my phone or not tips but like the pros and cons that i had to say about it on my phone so i wouldn't forget um there's a couple of things that I wanted to tell you guys. But yeah, so let's start. Um, for one, the tips. Obviously, you get tips. Um, I've been getting, um, I've, I would say a lot of tips. I know when I watched some videos on like Uber Eats deliveries before I actually started, people were saying like people didn't really tip on Uber. Um, but I don't know, like I've been getting actually a lot of tips. Um... So, yeah, and then there's, like, a lot of times where you think, like, people would tip, like, and they don't, and then there's the people that you think won't tip that do. So, it's basically, like, real life, like, don't judge a book by its cover type people, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, um, it's pretty chill, like, I literally just sit in my car, drive around, go pick up food, and then go give it to people. So, it's pretty chill, it's nothing hectic I would say at all so I mean other than like driving like if you don't like to drive then you probably won't like this but yeah it's pretty chill um I make my own schedule so I you know obviously work when I feel like working I don't work when I don't feel like working I can take a lunch break when I feel like taking one like all that like you're you're you are your own boss so you know that's uh another thing I like about it um one time this hasn't happened a lot but one time like out of the whole week though um I went to get food go pick up food from um Zaxby's and uh the manager I think he was the manager but he uh gave me a cup to go get a drink so I got a free drink so I actually liked that because he's like, you thirsty? And I was like, eh. And he's like, yeah. He's like, here you go. <laughs> so, yeah, that was nice of him. He gave me a free drink. Um, and then I actually had to go back there again um, that same day, like a couple, like an hour and a half, or two hours or something later. And I, you know, still had my cup, so I got another refill. So, that was actually kind of cool. Um, another cool thing is, like, you meet some nice people. Like, there are some really genuine nice people out there that are sweet and, and, you know, make conversation or whatever. They're just nice people. And then there's people out there that's rude and, like, for no reason. Not, like, rude, rude, but, you know, are just, like, short, sweet to the point, you know. Thanks here, they blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, bye, see you later. <laughs> like, they don't talk. They're just like, okay, thanks for my food, bye. So, yeah. I haven't got any actual rude, rude people. Like, there was this one incident that I felt, like, not awkward, but I felt uncomfortable. Like, it was in this really, 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 really nice neighborhood. Like, and I'm talking about nice. Like, these houses, not even exaggerating, were, like, million-dollar homes. Like, I never even knew this area exists, like, where I stay. But, yeah, it was, like, in this really, like, they were, like, multi-million-dollar homes. And I delivered over there. Like, I felt so awkward just driving in there. But, yeah, I delivered there, and when I rang the doorbell, like, you know, like, you guys seen that commercial for Ring, I think it's called, and you could, like, see the person at your door through, like, the doorbell thingy. You guys should know what I'm talking about. They had that, and she was just like, oh, can I help you? And I'm like, hi, I'm here, you know, I'm Uber Eats, I'm here, got your food, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, oh, okay, thanks, can you just leave it by the door? And I was like, okay, okay, like, no problem. So I'm like, I was sat it, you know, on the ground in front of the uh, front door. And she's like, okay, thanks. I'm like, okay. Like, that wasn't rude, but it was just like, dang, you couldn't even open the door for me to me, for me to hand you, like, the food. You know what I mean? Like, why I have to leave it in front of your door? Like, I feel like that was, like, a black person thing. I'm just saying. Like I said, they were, like, million-dollar homes, but I'm not going to do nothing to you. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm just here delivering your food, so... I feel like she could have opened the door for me. That was kind of rude. But, you know, hey, whatever. Um, and that was, like, one of the things I was saying. Like, you would think, like, you in a million-dollar home, they would tip, but they didn't tip. So, as I'm like, 
and then like I go to like the regular, you know, like regular normal people that are at their jobs or their homes and they live like a regular life, apartment, whatever, and they're the ones that tip, which is, I guess because they, I don't know, but anyways, but yeah, um, what else? Oh, one time, like I said, this hasn't happened a lot either, but one time out of the whole week again, um, I got a double... I, I guess it's called like a double trip like normally when you go to places and you pick up orders like you're just picking up one person's order but this one time I was going to um what is it called Jimmy John's the sub place and I was on my way there I was like three minutes away and then I got another ding and I looked and it was like three minutes away and I clicked on it and accepted it and um then it pops up like with the order so it's at the same place and just picking up two people's orders so how that goes basically is um you pick up like i said both the foods and when you start your trip it'll take you to the first person's house that ordered first and then after you complete that trip and you know you put it complete and everything on the app once it's delivered it'll automatically take you to the other person's house so that's how that worked um like i said that only happened once it was pretty cool it wasn't hard or anything so yeah um it's pretty easy money like i said if you don't like driving then you probably won't like it but other than that i would say it's like pretty easy money i calculate i make about like ten dollars an hour which is what i make at my regular job so i kind of like that like i'm not really i don't feel like i'm downgrading or anything so it's about like i said like ten dollars an hour um so yeah and i and you usually get like uh i think i put that on oh no i didn't but um you usually get like two trips hours i do like one trip every 30 minutes like i don't know how to explain it. like it takes me 30 minutes to complete a full trip like picking up the food and dropping it off like we're going to yeah going to the place picking up the food dropping it off blah 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 so yeah it's about two trips an hour and you make about like ten dollars an hour so it could be like give or take like four like four something five dollars each trip you guys get what i'm saying but um yeah um i like there i really like actually like there's instant pay so um like after you work even if you don't even have to work like the full day after you do one trip if you want if you need some money like if you need that five dollars or whatever like you can take it out right then like you don't have to wait for them to transfer the money into your account like a paycheck or whatever like every week you can get paid right then at that second so i really like that like i've been doing that like every time like i'm done for the day i like cash out um i've only done or i only let it go once to like carry on to the next week or whatever like they give it to me like a paycheck type thing um, but yeah, every other time I've been doing instant pay and like I said, you get it like immediately in your account. So I really like that because it comes in handy like when you need money right away, you know what I mean? The only thing about that is it takes 50 cents from your pay, which isn't a lot, I don't think. I mean, obviously it can add up because obviously you do it twice, that's a dollar. But 50 cents and you, but you could get, you know, money in your account right away, like, I mean, hey. Um, I feel like it's a good thing. Um, uh, another two, like, another two things that, um, obviously are downers, but, I mean, that's obvious, is the mileage that you put on your car and the gas that you're using. So, um, I'm not a big mileage person. Like, I don't look like, oh my gosh, I have a lot of miles on my car. So, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm putting a whole bunch of miles on my car. But at the same time, like, I know, like, I am driving a lot and I know I am putting more miles in my car. And obviously, the more miles you put on your car, like, the faster you're going to have to get an oil change type thing. So that's, like, spending more money in that sense, though. So that's what I'm thinking of it as because I'm like, oh, dang, I already have to get an oil change. But it wasn't even time for me to get one yet because I'm already at the mileage that I'm supposed to be at before the date that it says. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, there's that. And then gas, like, you obviously waste a lot of gas because you're just driving around back and forth in circles all day, which is literally what I do. But you're wasting a lot of gas, so obviously you're going to be spending more money to go to the gas station, spending more time to go to the gas station and all that to, you know, put gas in your car. So you can still get around to doing this or doing your regular job or doing whatever you have to do. Um, so, yeah. Another thing, this wasn't like, it's not a bad thing or a good thing or whatever, but 
it makes you hungry because obviously you're delivering food all day so your car smells like food the food smells good you might actually already go to this place to eat and then they order food and you're like dang that smells good dang that sounds good dang i love this meal or whatever and it makes you hungry so that's like the only thing like you get hungry a lot so yeah um another another thing uh Another good thing is that you find a lot of new cool restaurants. Like if there's places around town that you've never been or never heard of and like the food could smell good when it's in your car or when you walk in it's nice and it smells good in there and people are friendly and just all that stuff like you find new cool places to eat at that you never knew about and you could uh, you know like start end up really liking it. Um, and the other thing, another thing was you find like um, other nice home areas or housing areas. Like I did tell you guys, like I want to move, like we want to move into a house and all that. So driving around, you see all these new areas like you've never seen before and they're really nice. So I feel like that's a good thing for me. I mean, other people probably don't care about that, but that's a good thing for me. Like I said, the multi-million dollar home, obviously I can't afford that, but there was nice homes around that area that were obviously probably not million dollar homes but they were like nice also because obviously they have to keep their area up in general so like that could be a place I might would look at into moving so just little stuff like that you just find new things around town that you never knew about um uh the food is usually always ready like I know it's like I said I seen when I watched uh, videos before um before I started they said like most of the time the food is ready but then there's some occasions that the food isn't ready but every time I've gone to a place the food has always been ready there's only been one time that I went somewhere and it was a McDonald's um it was a McDonald's which I have heard people say talk about McDonald's but it was a McDonald's the food wasn't ready um but I waited about I would say like six minutes I waited about yeah, I waited about six minutes to uh for the food to be ready. He was the manager was nice about it, like he wasn't rude or anything. He was like sorry and all that. Um and the drop off location was literally like right behind like right behind the McDonalds it seemed like, but literally I went up the street and it was right there. So it was like two minute two, three minutes away from the McDonalds, so it didn't even take me that long to get the guy his food or whatever. Um so that part was good though. But um, but for one thing though, I do want to say like I know like I said I heard people say a lot of things about McDonald's and how they're horrible. But I've only been to three to I've only been to three different location McDonald's and the two out of the three have been ready. Like I've only been to that one that wasn't ready one time and like I said it wasn't ready. And then I've been to another one like four times already and every time it was ready and then I've been to another one one time and it was ready so I haven't had any bad experience with the McDonald's deliveries or anything yet so I don't know I guess I'm just lucky I'm not sure but <laughs> I'm not complaining um oh and then now I'm just basically giving you guys numbers so you would know that because I'm sure everyone wants to know what was the pay, what was the blah 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 blah. So yeah, I'm giving you guys some numbers now. Um, my highest or my lowest pay for a trip that I took for, which is going to get the food, picking up the food, going to deliver it to the person, and completing the order. Um, all that I did, all that, and the lowest pay I got was three twenty two. I don't obviously remember the place. It doesn't tell you like when you go look back at your like your log or whatever. So I don't remember what it was, but obviously it was like I was probably like right there next to the pickup location when I got the ding for it and their drop off location was probably right or probably I can't even talk. <laughs> right behind like what is up with me? It was like right behind it type thing, like it wasn't far, so Obviously, it probably wasn't even that much work for me to put in. It probably took me like ten, like five, ten minutes to do it. So, three twenty-two was the pay for that. Um, and then my highest pay was um, nine eighteen. So that was just for one trip. Um, and I actually got that on video. So you guys should have seen my first Uber video. 
and it was um, in the video when I was telling you guys it was downtown and it was like the hardest aggravating one that I did because of the parking and blah 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 so it was that trip um because I did tell you guys in the video like it took a long time for me to even get to the place and then had to find the park parking for the place and when I went in there like I said the food was ready so it was good for that part but then it was like another 20 minutes for me to drive to the person on top of like the 20 minutes that it took for me to get to the place in the first place on top of the like five ten minutes it took for me to park <laughs> like <laughs> So, yeah, that one was a hot mess, but that one was um, $9.18 for that pay. Um, and then now tips. Um, my lowest tip that I got, obviously, was no tip, but I'm telling you, like, my tip amounts. <laughs> so my lowest tipped amount was uh, $2, and then my highest tipped amount was $6. And, um, I just want to throw this out there. Like, the funny thing, like I was saying again at the beginning of the video, when I was like, the people that you think won't tip, will tip, usually, and then, or whatever. But, yeah, this person, I didn't expect them to, like, I don't care about tips. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, did they even give me a tip? But, this person, I didn't expect them to tip. And then, like, a couple hours later, like, I, look, I was looking at my log, and I seen I had a, like, a tipped amount or whatever, and I was looking... And now it tells you like the address and all that, like the pickup load, like the pickup address and then the delivery address. And I remember the address because it was like my first delivery of the day or whatever. And it was the six dollars, and I was like, "What the heck?" Like they actually tipped, and I was like, "Dang, that was cool." Because I'm like, I really didn't expect them to tip. Like I said, I really didn't care, but I didn't expect them to tip, and they tipped, and it was like the biggest amount that I've gotten so far. So I'm like, that was cool. Um, and then yeah, so to tie this all mm -hmm. off my full week of work how much i got paid how long i did it and blah 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 so drum roll <laughs> okay so uh i worked four days that was my full week of me working i worked four days out the week i did 11 and a half hours and i got 140 dollars so to me that is good like I said, I worked four days. I only worked three hours each day. I worked, well, for three days, I worked three hours. And then for my first day, which was in the video, also I worked two and a half hours. So 11 and a half hours. I think I calculated that correctly. Um, four days and I made $140. So like I said, three hour days, that's, that's not even taking like a half of a chunk out of your whole day. Like three hours isn't anything and then I did it for four days and I got $140 I mean hey I feel like that's really good when I could have you know just been sitting at home doing nothing so that $140 definitely came in handy because I had some bills to pay so that's basically why I started doing this because I needed extra money got bills I got responsibilities and blah 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 you know adult stuff <laughs> hashtag adult life <laughs> But yeah, so it did definitely come in handy. I was able to have extra money in my pocket and then to pay the two bills that I had due that was coming up. And I'm going to keep doing this, like I, like I said, to um, help pay bills, basically, and have extra money in my pocket when I need it, when I don't have hours at work or whatever on top. Yeah, so that was it on... Um, my first week of doing uber eats i hope it was very helpful if you guys want to give it a try i have the link in my code and all that um in the description box for you guys um and yeah if you guys do uber eats let me know how you like it if what like if you want to give it a try let me know if this video was helpful and i give you some inspiration on going ahead and giving it a try um but yeah that's about it guys uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you.